So hi everyone, I'm back here with artist Matthew Willie, and he joined us for our Culture Day 2016, painting the Good of the Hive mural on the Hill Building here in Durham, North Carolina. And one year later, we would like to revisit uh, where we were this time last year and just see what Matt's been up to. You can. So Matt, remind us, what is the mission of the Good of the Hive? The mission of the Good of the Hive is to hand paint 50,000 individual honeybees in murals around the world to raise awareness about the importance of honeybees and other pollinators. And has anything in that mission changed since you've been at this about a year now? The mission itself hasn't changed. The way I'm going about it, some things have changed, um, but the in initial intention of the project is the same. Can you share with us one thing that has changed in the way you've been doing these murals? One element was that it was going to be completely just me. And, um, and when I actually did the mural here, we invited other people to come in and paint petals, which as you know, is completely resistant to. And um, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Once I opened up to the idea and realized you all were going to help me coordinate 400 people helping paint petals, and when doing that ended up being a great part of the project. So I've looked for different ways to incorporate other people, and it it actually has taken some of the weight off of me having to feel like I'm doing a lot of this by myself, um, which was something I wasn't expecting. And what is the reaction of people when they get to join you on the wall? Um, it's completely varied. Some people leap in like, give me the brush. I'm so ready for this. Others are like, oh, no, 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 no. I need to. But afterwards, everybody seems to love it. Like it's, I get, I'm, it's second nature to me to paint on a public wall. Um, it's just not normal for everybody, you know? And so I think that was part of what slowed me down about it. Who's going to want, remember, I was like, who's, who's going to want to do this? They're going to think it's ridiculous. And then I found out everybody's doing selfies and loving the project. So I've had that same reaction pretty much everywhere I've gone. Well, and then later in the summer, you had the opportunity to meet our CEO, uh, Ben O'Dor. Mm -hmm. What was it like painting with him? It, how, how was his art? His art, it was funny, he didn't even finish his petal and I had to like cue him to keep painting. I was like, oh, no, 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 we paint a whole petal if we commit to the petal, you know? And it was funny like that, but um, it was pretty wild, you know? Um, but I love the fact that it brings everything back to this simple, simple idea of a bee or a petal of a flower. And it's the pinpoint connection element, which as I'm going around painting them, the brush, everything comes down to this pinpoint of focus, which so much of this work is about looking closer at things. And paint only goes so fast. You can only paint, it's not like photographing a petal, it's done. No, you have to sit there and dip and paint and like really be in that petal. So it was great. Then it was great. Yeah, right. cool guy. Well, you've been uh, in the midst of your second crowdfunding campaign, which is really the way we found a about you in the first place. Mm -hmm. So tell us about how that's going. What was the the goal for that? The goal for this this crowdfunding campaign was to um, fund some expansion of what's going on to be able to bring the initiative to places that might not be able to afford it. Um, and I'm doing some of that through having um, one mural, taking some funds from that and carrying it forward. Um, that I was really hoping to expand filming, expand and create some installation pieces that are expensive and expensive to disassemble and then move. So you would have not just a small sculpture and do big murals, but then it would give me the opportunity to take a sculpture um, that's painted, but also bring that to a place that I might not be in. So a school in rural Mississippi might be able to get a really grand piece of art about bees. Um, and so that's what the crowdfunding was was designed to fund. And that really helps get the message out, doesn't mm -hmm. it, when you can mm -hmm. take it mobile. Mm -hmm. So Matt, you're joining us um, for another appearance at Culture Day mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks, Culture Day 2017. Um, how are you going to play into this year's theme, Be Bold, Be Informed? Um, how am I going to play into it? I'm going to talk about the bravery and 
at 47 years old, take becoming an art activist. I was not an activist prior to the bees, the work with the bees. I was a working artist for a long time and um, had success at that. But I took this leap of faith into this, you know, leap in the net will appear kind of thing, um, which is a bold action. Um, and w then I'm going to talk a little bit about what that's been like, what I've gotten from taking those bold actions. Great. Well, we can't wait to hear, hear what you have to say. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you.